All right, question 24. We're trying to predict job promotions by using the number of sick days a person has, how many years he's been working there, and how much he gets paid. Okay, that makes it a regression model. Okay, so let's do this first of all in Excel. You're going to highlight the data. And you're going to put it in a fresh sheet. Bam. So this is what we're trying to predict, right? How many promotions they've had. So that's going to be our Y value. So let's go ahead and go to data. Data analysis. Regression. Where's regression? Regression. Click OK. Remember, our Y range is what we're trying to predict. And our X range is what we're trying to predict with. And I want the output to be right where I can see it, so I'm going to put it right around K6. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. Click OK. So there's our regression table. And it should answer all our questions for us, most of them, right? One of these things we're going to have to do in SPSS. But let's, let's take a looky over here. So first of all, the ANOVA is less than 0 0.05, therefore it is a significant regression. You look at your R square, that's a pretty darn good R square there. Okay. So we have a significant regression with a pretty good R square. And let's see if everything is, which of the predictors is significant. So the first one is significant. The second variable is significant because the p-values are less than 0.05. But the third variable is not. That is interesting. Okay, so the first two are and the second one are not. I already forgot what they were. So number of sick days, yeah, that can predict how many promotions. How long you've been there can predict. But your annual salary is not a good predictor of how many job promotions you're going to have. Okay, so let's answer these questions. Yes, it was a, it was a significant regression model. The effect size was, I already forgot, um, 0.666. So that means, in other words, you can explain about two-thirds of the variance in job promotions based on the number of sick days a person takes and how long they've been working there, okay? Again, their salary has nothing to do with this. So the the again the only two the, the only two that were significant were number of sick days and years of service and which predictor was strongest that means we have to do this in SPSS good thing I got it ready here so in SPSS you're going to go to analyze regression linear we always assume the data is linear in these regression models and we're trying to predict job promotions using sick days years of service and annual salary we should get the same results you always want the top five over here the Durbin Watson click OK so the only reason we're doing this is to see which one of the predictors is stronger that means we gotta go to the coefficients box right so here's sick days it is significant we look at the beta weight so negative point six two so it means the less sick days a person have, has the more promotions. That's interesting. Years of service is a positive six. So the longer you've been there, the more promotions you should have. So, But the, the one that's a little bit more, it's just barely a, a little bit more powerful, is the number of sick days. That's going to be your strongest predictor. And what else we got here? Write out the regression equation. We will do that. We will use... We'll use these values, right? We're going to use the coefficients right here. The intercept is your is your constant. So let me go ahead and put all that stuff in there. But that's all you need to know right now. So hold on. All right. The ANOVA tells us it's a significant regression, right? P-value is a lot smaller than 0 0.05. The effect size was about 0 0.667. That's very strong effect size for this kind of analysis. And that, that basically means that you can explain 66.7% of the variance in the DV, which is job promotions, based on the model that you got here. The three predictors which were significant, it was the number of sick days and the years of service, 
<clears throat> the one that was the strongest was the number of six day, sick days. We had to use SPSS for that. And here is your regression model. Your predicted number of, of promotions should be the constant or intercept. That's from this value, right? Minus this number times the number of sick days and plus this number times the years of service. And that's what it comes out to be. So you should be able to predict how many promotions a person is going to get based on the number of sick days they have and how many years they've been working there. But that's it. MGZ out.